All right, hey folks, next what I wanna do on the site is I want to put links to the previous and next posts, um, whether it's on a tip or a blog post, I just want to be able to have buttons at the bottom here that people can cycle through them. So I um, initially thought like, okay, like I can probably query that when I'm querying the individual MDX file. But the problem with that is that when you query an individual piece of content, it doesn't know where it is in relation to the other pieces of content because that order is determined by how you sort it and filter it and things like that. If it's sorted by date, ascending or descending. So I think what we need to do, and I haven't done this yet, is go into where we query all of our items, um, which is this one, make tips from MDX. What this does is it queries every single tip and then we loop over each one and create an individual tip page. So I think what we need to do is to uh, pass along some information about the previous tip and the next tip if it does exist. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just want to take a look here. We've got, we are querying all of them. And for each one, we are querying the slug. Probably also want to pass along the name of the post so that when we are rendering these out, um, I can I can put the name of it, right? Because we can't, we can't query that data um, in the individual tip. So we have to query it at this point. So we query the slug. Um, and then we also need, shoot, I think the body, there's no, the thing about the, the tips, I just paused it for a sec to think about this. The thing about the tips that I have is that there's no title for the tip because it's just text. Um, and that's fine because I can just grab the body. Um, there's no images in the body because I've put those as metadata. So that should be fine. Um, so we'll grab the node body as well. And we got the body and the slug. That's good. Now what we need to do is when we loop over the tip, we need to also pass the index. Um, and then we need to figure out if there is a prev and next tip. So we'll say const prev is equal to um, tips i minus one. And next is tips I plus one. Um, and I think whether that's undefined or not, we'll just go ahead and pass those two values. And now I think we need to regen our context, but that data should then show up in here um, as page context. So page context. And we'll console log the page context. And I think we need to kill our entire process and start it again. All right, looks like it finished generating. Now, if we open up our dev tools and refresh this page, um, we should see, here we go. Look, here's our object. And it gives us the next, the previous, and obviously the slug, which we're already using in that query. So we should be able to now um, go in here and maybe let's make a new component for that. So um, we'll just call that content nav.js import react from react. And we'll say export default function content nav. That should take in a prev and a next. And return next. Okay. We'll need to also import Gatsby link. We'll do that in a second. Let's get it uh, hooked up. Um, now we'll go into our tip and say uh, content nav. Let's see if we can auto import it. Boom. Good. And is this? And then we got to pass. Uh, prev is equal to page context. Dot, well, I'll just do this. Prev dot prev. And next is equal to prev context dot next. Okay. Um,
So good, we've got our nav showing up here. So now we can go in here and return a div. And then in here, we'll say, um, let's just assume there is a preview and an X. Well, we'll, we'll tackle the fact that we're at the first item in just a second, although this might be the first item. Um, and we'll give ourselves a link to uh, prev.frontmatter.slug. Um, slug. Prev.fields.slug. Oh, fields.slug. And we have to log the tip in there. You know what? No, let's do that in our Gatsby node. No, then I have to regenerate. Screw that. <laughs> forward slash tip, forward slash prefields.slug. Um, I don't believe we need that forward slash because they're already on there. Okay. Um, and then we also need the MDX renderer. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to do some styling on here, but let's just do an H2 that says next. This is not what H2 is for. I just want it to be bigger. And we'll do a preve. Okay. So can I cycle through them all now? Next. Next, next, next. Good. Um, so now my question is, can I get to the very first one? What is the very first one? Let's see here. Let's just go to it. Um, this one. And then why do we still have our previous? What's the last tip? So if I go to page 26, maybe it just wraps around. Um, this is the last tip I ever did. This is just seemingly random. Handy command for when you have changed your git ignore after you... Hmm, these are not in order. Maybe I didn't... order them properly. Let's look at our Gatsby node. Um, yeah, there's no, actually I'm not. MDX. That's fine. Ah, uh, I think I know. So if I go to tips page, we're sorting the query here, but in here, we're not sorting the query. So we need to do that. Yeah, now I think we need to rerun the sucker and that should fix it for us. I regenerated the whole thing. Um, what I want to do now is just go to tips and like, let's click on this one, intl.collator. So the previous one should be, here's a neat one. And the next one should be new in ES 2019. So click on it. Previous one, here's a neat one. There we go. Okay, good. Now if we go to previous, yes. Okay, it breaks because there is no previous one. So let's update this to say, um, Maybe we can just do prev.node and and. All right. And then save. 
I should just have a next link. Preve is undefined. Oh, we just have to check for Preve. If it's undefined, then why are you doing it? Oh, it's because I'm console logging it. Duh. Good. Now, now next only works. So let's just duplicate that logic over for next. And I believe if we go to the last tips page, 26, click on the very last one. There's only a previous button. That's it. Um, okay. So let's now make this work for blog posts. So if I go to a blog, um, let's go to beginner JavaScript. And now we need to modify our Gatsby node where let's actually first do the sorting. So blog JS, see how we have sort here. Let's go into our Gatsby node and go into make posts from MDX. Let's modify our query to fetch them in order. It didn't need to be in order before because all this was doing was just getting them all and making pages from them all. Displaying the order was up to blog.js. Um, but now because we want to know in context, we do need to know that. Um, okay, so now we can, like this could probably be like, this is almost the same thing. I could probably refactor this tips and MDX into one file. Maybe that's another video. We'll see. I don't know if that's all that interesting. Um, so we want the node body fields and slug. So the node body fields and slug. Okay. Got all the data we want. Now we want to pass the context, the previous and next to this one. And Pass that. And this will be posts. Yeah, this definitely could be refactored into the same function. It's like the exact same thing. Um, we also need to take the index in so we know where we are in the loop. And we're gonna do this all in one go, right? It's not I'm not gonna restart that process again. I don't have time for that. Um, I'll go into our blog. And go to our tip. Let's just copy this. Go to our blog. And no, we want post. Where's our templates directory? Here we go. Okay. And then we've got to import this content nav. We need to destructure the page context. And is that it? Let's try. All right, we're going to restart this sucker. All right, we are on it. Oh. We can't render out the body for a blog post. So what we need to do is either render out the title. And if that it doesn't exist, then we'll render out the body. Oh, I don't think we queried the title. Oh, it's front matter. Brief. Let's just log what we got here. Actually, we should be able to just inspect it with React DevTools. They don't need to log anything. Uh, so let's grab our component here and go to our React DevTools. Here we go. Next node front matter dot title. So previous dot no dot front matter dot title. Okay. 
<laughs> Come on now. Oh, they're curly brackets. Probably the worst coder ever existed. Boom. Previous uses next flying a DJI Tello drone. Okay, so that's good. Um, no, what did we call it? Prefix path prefix. So you go to uh, this one is blog. Oh, this one has no prefix actually, and the tips has a prefix of tip. And then we should be able to hard code the page path prefix. And then we have to pass that in via props when we render the sucker out. So let's go to layout. No, no, no. Let's go to blog. Page context. No, post. So let's go to post, find out where we have, and I'll just say page context is equal to, oh, not page context, path prefix, path prefix. Okay. And we'll have to double that over to tip as well. Okay, good. And I think we got to restart the build. Oh, I did it. Um, one thing I needed to do is I had to take off the the conditional here. I had to take off dot title because on some of them front matter didn't exist. Soon that will be much easier with that nested check question mark that we're getting. It's already in Chrome, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so it's it's up and running. It's working with both blogs and tips. Obviously, I got to style it a little bit more. I'll, I'll do that off camera, but um, that is all the code that we need to, uh, to write it. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying these. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.